My name is Dennis Hoar. I'm a physical chemist at the University of Victoria, and my group is interested in looking at molecules that normally live in water and see how do they interact with artificial solid surfaces when they encounter them and land on their surface. So just for example, there are a lot of medical implants which use polymers, so sutures, catheters, materials to repair or replace organs. And a fundamental problem with a lot of the materials in these devices is that their surfaces just don't behave well inside the body. When proteins see these materials, they tend to turn inside out, stick to the surface, and they lose their function and they re result in disease. So there are three important aspects to consider. One of them, the obvious question, is what do the proteins look like once they've landed on the plastic surface? But there's two other important considerations. One is, what does the surface of the polymer look like in molecular detail? Just because we know what this plastic is like on the inside doesn't mean we know what it looks like on the outside, and that's what really counts. But the last important aspect is who else is coming in to help? Are there water molecules that come in to mediate this interaction? Are there ions in very high concentration in this neighborhood? And our research program addresses all three of these aspects. One of my hopes is that people will not only benefit from the structural studies that we're doing, but that others will take the tools that we're developing and apply them to problems in other fields of science. With growing interest in nanotechnology, these types of developments will really give people the tools to take some of these problems to the next level. Mm -hmm.